What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be installing something brand new on the Supra today. Shout out to Eddie as Sumo Foreman. He sent me a little package and let me show you guys what he sent me. Look at the packaging, bruh. Sumo Performance. What could it be? What could it be? Uh, oh my god. It is a third brake light for the Supra. If you guys don't know already on the Supra stock, it comes with just a reverse light. So when you put this car in reverse, it'll light up white LED, but just for reverse only, it doesn't have any brake function or anything like that. So today we are gonna be installing an aftermarket brake light. Not only is it gonna give us the reverse light feature where it turns white when we go in reverse, which are these little tiny clear LEDs. Every time we brake this red bar right here, here will turn on as a third brake light. Take off this bumper in order to wire this up. Also comes with tap -ins. So basically these tap ins plug into one of the tail lights so that way it could use that brake and reverse function. It looks fairly simple to plug in. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit better lighting. So I think I'm gonna turn this car around. Kind of have to take off both of the wheels in order to get the bumper off because it's hard to show on camera, but there is two 10 mils that stick in here and there's no way. I didn't even got a skinny ratchet for that. Oh, so we're just gonna have to take both wheels and just jack this thing up. I got the car jacked up and both of the wheels off. Let's just take off these two plastic shrouds. So there's these two screws that I took off right here and there's two, one on that side, one on that side. These are both a T20 and that's basically it. So now the next thing is to take off the bumper is a couple 10 mils as you can see right there. One's on the outside, which are those three right here. And then once I take them out, this bumper should slide off. I go under here. It's clipped on to these little clips right here. I take a little flat and everything should just come out. Actually, there's one more place. There's a screw that sticks right up. All right, so I have the bumper completely disconnected, as you can see. Um, I was thinking about disconnecting all these wires, but I think I have enough room. Since I am a small person already, I think I'm just gonna fit through under here. It already gives me enough space to give me some clearance so that way I can unbolt that brake light. It's just for eight mils and then that thing will just come right off. Finally was able to get the old light out. Now here is the comparison. Check that out, old, new. Definitely looks a lot better. And yeah, so basically the only thing now is we need to wire this up to the brake light. And then once we uh, wire this up to the brake light, uh, we're just gonna test it out before we actually put everything back together. It should be easy because there's only two wires that we need to tap in, the reverse and the brake and once we do that we are done and we can put everything back up all right so super simple i literally just put it on check that out it's kind of hard to see in the sun lighting but it is on there it's bolted in it was super simple actually it was just four of those screws back on so right here i plugged in back the power cable the power cable the one that i'm kind of tapping on with my camera and then the only thing left i have to wire these to follow this trail this harness right here right beneath the light Trails through, follow around, and where this hook is, that's where you should cut it because that way it holds it in place. You already see that I already cut it a little bit so that way it could expose the wire so I could actually see what I'm cutting into. One vampire clip is gonna go on to the purple one. Put one more on the, the green with the blue stripe on it. Uh, now we take one of these, kind of like almost like a connector. This green one is for the purple. The red one is to the blue and green wire. I like how the wire setup is with this because we don't have to cut anything. Well, okay, we're splicing something. So technically we are cutting, but we don't have to use a solder. We don't have to use wire strippers, anything like that. That's what I love about these. That's basically it. I am gonna wrap this around this whole connection with more electric tape so that way if any debris or water gets in it it will be protected i'm gonna wait for the night to fall a little bit so that way i could show you guys better at night clean this up and uh yeah we're gonna show some b-roll Here it is, here is the brake light, nice in the nighttime as you can see. Um, I wanted to show you guys specifically in the nighttime because that way you guys can see the lighting better and the functionality better of the third brake light. It looks super sick and it matches with how the OE style 
tail lights on the Supra already look, so it makes it just 10 times better. This is how the brake light is gonna look just at idle. When you brake, uh, it will start to flash, and then when you put it in reverse, this will turn white. So let me show you guys that. As you guys saw on video, this thing gets pretty bright at night. Um, as you can see, it started flaring on the camera. That's just how bright it is. So. <laughs> if you're reversing or if you're braking, someone will definitely see it, whether that's the daytime or the nighttime. So it's a super cool mod, easy to do, and it looks good. Um, definitely better than the OEM one, which is just the reverse, no brake. But I think it looks 10 times better. It also functions a lot better. If you have an A90 or A91, Supra, make sure to check out Super Performance. Shout out again once Eddie at Super Performance. He's been working with me and I love the products that he sends out because even 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 the before I was working with him, I used to have a tension civic and I bought the sequential side markers for my tension SI. I love the quality of them and I love how they were designed and the sequential style. Um, also I ordered mirrors from him before I was even a customer at Super Performance. Um, I love the way how they do their products and their customer service and literally their service is so good like and this video is not to gas them up or anything but it's the honest truth of like how I experience my service with them and so I think it that definitely is an important thing when y'all guys do look into you know buying parts but yeah once again shout out to Eddie at Summer Performance for sending this out and making the Supra a lot cleaner. Like, look at this. You cannot go wrong with the light and they do have different versions as well. As y'all guys know on this channel, I used to own a Tension SI, so they do have parts for that. They do have parts for Teslas. They do have parts for Tacomas. So make sure to check them out. They do have abundance of parts for all kinds of vehicles. I'll leave a link to Suma's website down in the description. Make sure to click them and check out their website. And yeah, I'll see y'all guys next time and next one.